Yo, what's going on guys? Milka here. Today I'm bringing you guys a cinematic tutorial for Modern Warfare 2. In the description, you'll find a download link to this folder. Download it and what this will do is it will give you reshade which is what you can use to make your cinematics look better I got a little preset there for you and also some commands to help you with this tutorial believe it or not you will need the Modern Warfare 2 game to follow along so if you don't have it type it in on YouTube and go ahead and install it once you've got it make a folder called mods in here you will find all your mods that you will have in order to create cinematics I will not have a download link to one in this video so go to my actors mod tutorial and in the description of that you will find this mod download it and put it into your mods folder in this tutorial as I said I'm going to be showing you how to make cinematics there are two different types of cinematics you can make you can make them with bots or with actors I'm going to show you both and so I'm going to start with bots, so what you need to do is just load up Modern Warfare 2. Once Modern Warfare 2 is loaded, disable reshade. Um, I already have mine set up to already load my mod, so if since you probably won't have that set up, go to mods and click on the cinematic mod or whatever mod you're going to use and hit launch. Once the mod is loaded, start dev map and then select the map that you want to use. So we're going to use terminal and then just launch the dev map. Once the game is loaded, select the top team or whatever team you want and select a class. Go to the spot where you want a cinematic. Um, I'm just going to choose here, why not? Um, hit the command button, which if you don't know which that is, it's this button that's on the screen now. And type in slash mvm underscore bot underscore spawn. And then choose a gun, I'm just going to do the M4. and then a team, I'm going to choose alleys and you get a bot uh, if you want the other team it's axis, it depends on which skin you want if you choose alleys you're going to get the army skins and depending on what map you're on if you choose axis you might get um, a terrorist skin once they've spawned in to get them to die you do slash mvm underscore bot underscore kill and then type in the bot's name which in this case is Momo I'm guessing that is how it's pronounced and then 5502 and then you can do head or you can do chest and I think there's some others but those are the main two so I'm just going to do head and as you can see he dies and another bot respawns to get rid of the dead body go somewhere else and you want to do slash clone and you'll clone yourself I have that binded to the C key and then I just spam that a bunch and as you can see the body has gone but now their gun is left there and that is so annoying to see death cinematics and there's like five guns on the floor so to stop that you do slash mvm underscore bot underscore hold gun and now when he dies he will hold the gun and then when you get rid of his body you clone yourself it will now get rid of him and the gun as you can see it just leaves the one that we had before um, to make things easier for you you can bind this command so let's say I, I think I bind mine to K for kill and then every time I press K the actor dies or the bot I mean 
to get sniper cinematics, it's the same way. You do slash MVM underscore spawn underscore bot underscore spawn and then do interf intervention and then choose a team. And as you can see he spawns in. But he won't move. So if you want to do a running cinematic, you will need to do it yourself. So you'll make the class that you want. So let's say your your trick shot clip is this guy using this class, the intervention with heartbeat and a magnum. And you want to do a running cinematic on the plane. You go up onto the plane by using no clip, which is slash no clip, or for some mods it's also no clip too, which in this case it is. I bind that to nine. The bind command is slash bind, and then you type in I don't know C clone, which is what I have, or in this case nine no clip two. And then every time I press nine or C, I'll get a clone or I fly. And then if you want to do a running cinematic, you just go to where you want, and you just sprint, and that's it. And then when you go to theatre and go to record, your guy will then run, and then you can do it how you want, which I will show. In a moment, so that is pretty much it for bots. If you want to fake fake frags, you need to do slash mvm underscore eb underscore magic. You'll now say it's on down the bottom, as you can see, and then wherever I shoot, the bot will die. Or if you want it to be more realistic, you can do. And I can turn this off real quick, and then put on close, and then. You actually have to be close to the guy in order to kill them. That is pretty much it, I'm pretty sure, for bots. Uh, I can't really think of anything else. That's pretty much all I did. Um, of course, when you're killing them, actually go into no clip so that your guy doesn't show up. You don't want yourself to be in there as well as the guy dying, unless you actually want that for the cinematic. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for bots, I'm pretty sure, I can't think of anything else. Um, yeah, so let's go on to actors, um, and you will need to have my mod for this, so you need to go download it, um, as you need the pre-cache in order to get this to work. So when you get it, open up the pre-cache, and you also want to go back to the tutorial thing, and I dragged this into my mods folder, as you can see I have it right here, so it's easy for me to access. Um, so open that up, put that in your mods folder if you want, or keep it on the desktop. Wherever you fail, it's going to be best for you. And then in here, you want to open up the prop list. So if we're going to do terminal again, you want to do control F for find and go down to terminal. And then you want to scroll down until you see the head models and the body. Uh, you just want to copy these in. So, say I wanted this one, just control C on it, come over to here, and in precast model, paste in your mod, your body, and then do the same for the head. Uh, I did B, I think. Yeah, just copy that over and paste it, and then do that for all the models that you might want. Uh, some other popular ones are this one, because this gives you the actual sniper skin, you might want to use that. Just a recommendation. And then, the next thing you want is the animations. So in here you'll find every single multiplayer animation there is. Whether it be standing, aiming, shooting, reloading, dying, prone, anything. Literally all the animations are in here. Um, in this case we want to get a death animation, so type in death and go down until you see death. And then in here you have explosion deaths, shotgun deaths, prone ones, crouch, standing. And you just want to choose the ones you want. Now this is where you need to go and experiment with them, find the one that you you want. Just get all of them if you want and just keep making new pre-cash anims by just highlighting them. Control, oh, whoops, wrong button. Control C and then just press enter and just keep doing that over and over again until you've got all the animations that you want. Once you've got all the animations you want, press Ctrl S and restart up the mod. Now, 
once the mod has loaded, again disable reshade and start your dev map. Let's do terminal again and launch it. Now that it's loaded, select the team and a class. Go to where you want a cinematic. Let's say you backdrop and hit a guy over here. Press the command button, do slash nvm underscore actor underscore spawn. Hit the Windows key so you can come off the game. Go back to the pre cache. Double click here on your body. Control C, Control V to paste it. Do this again for the head, control C, control V, and then hit enter. And as you see your your actor will spawn. Now you'll notice he doesn't have a weapon, so give him a weapon by hitting the command button, doing slash MVM underscore actor underscore anim. Oh sorry, weapon. <laughs> so weapon and then actor one and then do tag underscore weapon underscore right. And then do chatac underscore mp if you want the intervention, and you see he gets the intervention. Now, obviously, you might not want the intervention, so again, go back to the cinematic folder, and in here, you'll find a weapons list. In here is every single weapon in the game, and what their, uh, I guess, uh, fuck knows what you would say this is, but you basically need to copy that in and put that in, and paste it in, I mean. So, Let's we'll say you wanted him to hold an M4A1. That's just M4 underscore MP. Instead of putting Chatak, put M4, and you see he now gets an M4. But I prefer having a sniper. Now, to give him an animation, you do slash MVM underscore actor underscore anim. Put actor 1 because he's the first actor that you spawned in. If you spawn in multiple, you may have to change the 1 to 2, maybe 3, maybe 4, depending on how many you have spawned in. Then again, hit the Windows key and come back over to the pre cache and go down to your animations. And here you have your death animation, press Ctrl V, and easy as that. Okay. I prefer doing actors because it makes life a lot easier if you want a specific animation. I don't want to keep going through loads of killing the bots over and over again until I find an animation that I like. It's time consuming and boring, so doing actors just saves a lot of time. They also have running ones, like I said, they have pretty much anything that you want. You might want them to run, you might want them just to pull out the interventions. So if we were to record a cinematic, go into no clip so your guide doesn't show, and then play the animation. Play it a few times, and then leave the game, uh, which if you don't know is F1. If it's not already set up, do slash bind F1 disconnect. Now every time you press F1 it will send you straight back here. In the description, you will also find links to COD MVM Launcher and Virtual Dub. You'll need these two to record cinematics in the way I do and a lot of others do. However, this does take up a shit ton of space on your computer. If you don't have a lot of space, you're going to be better off using something like Fraps or Action Movie, I think it is, or something along those lines. Even Nvidia Shadow Play you can use. Use that to record the cinematic and then use AVI rate, I think it is, and then convert it to 600 frames per second. Once you've downloaded and installed COD NVM Launcher, click on the IW4 NVM, as that is Modern Warfare 2, and hit start. It will probably ask you to select your directory. Just go to your MWT folder and select IW4 NVM. And then go to your demos list, and your top one will be your most recent. Now what you do is you hold down the right key and you just fast forward up to the point at which your guide dies. If you don't want to go through this this process, what you can do is just go to 
um, when you go to record your when you're about to do the death animation or whatever just hit slash record but by opening the command and doing slash record and then it will start recording from that specific point and then play the death animation and then do slash stop record and it will just do that section right what well, to use this if you don't know press F2 to come out and you can actually move around um, now press the command button and do slash cg underscore fov 30 this zooms in now you can go lower don't go any higher than 30 because the lower it is the better the quality now what you want to do but you can move around by using the WASD and you want to go to where you want um, use mouse wheel down to rotate the camera press control to see these options and then hit K to place the camera you want to press the down arrow key to bring down the time scale to 0 0.1 and then you can see it starts moving you then want to move up a bit and then maybe change a bit of the rotation press K again to place another camera press spacebar again to play the animation bring him around a bit maybe bring up the rotation a bit press K again and then let him hit the floor and then rotation again and then press K and then once you have to pay, place at least four cameras before you can play the cinematic back you can do more of course and then just hit J over and over again until it shows your guy and then play the animation that is pretty much it um, I can't really suggest anything else, this is the best and easiest way to do things um, with reshade before you're about to play this um, before you're about to start the cinematic, so press space um, you press end and then your reshade will come on and it will stop you from lagging basically and um, what I tend to do is I'll, I'll press J over and over again until your animation is ready and then do slash CL underscore avi demo 600 this will record it in 600 frames per second so as soon as I press enter I press end to start the reshade and then I press spacebar in order to play the animation and then I wait until the animation is finished and then I I this you when you bring up the command you press the up arrow key and it will bring up your last command which in your case will be CL underscore Avi Demo 600 get rid of the 600 and then replace it with 0 and press enter again and that will stop the recording and that is pretty much it I'm pretty sure um, if you don't have end already set up to toggle on and off reshade go to settings and in effect toggle key click on here and then press end on your keyboard or whatever key you want to use to toggle it on and off and then when you come off of it and it's saved you press home to get rid of that it will just be end and you can just keep turning it on and off as simple as that now once you have finished recording so let me just quickly do that real quick so cl underscore avi demo 600 I then press end to get reshade on I press enter press space to play the cinematic and then once it's done I bring that back up again I turn off reshade so I can see it sometimes it's blurred and then get rid of the 600 and put zero and then that's how you record it I then close down Modern Warfare 2 if I'm happy with it I then can get rid of that and then you open up virtual dub now in your Modern Warfare 2 folder you want to go to data and then Avi Demo and in here you'll find a bunch of, of files there'll be loads you then drag and drop the first one in here and it will automatically load in the whole sequence you then want to press Control R on your keyboard change the frame rate to 600 and then press F7 and save it to your cinematics folder or wherever as you can see I already have it in here and you can see that just this and it's not even a second long it is 13.6 gigabytes when you get a, a lot of cinematics it takes up a lot of space for example if I go to my most recent thing for Crash 
and Gamus. That was 439 gigabytes for one project file and you can see that takes up a lot of space. So if you don't have a lot of space on your computer this is not the best way to do cinematics recording wise. You just want to use fraps and that will be a lot less. Or you could do this if you have some space and then hand break it down to a to a lower file size. But other than that, um, I'm pretty sure that is it. Uh, I know I've done this a bit quick and a bit rushed, but if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments or DM me on Twitter, that should be in the description as well. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Um, if you want any more tutorials, leave that in the description as well, I mean in the comments. And then I'm also going to bring out another actor tutorial in the next few weeks, more in depth and a lot better so you guys can get a better understanding because I know some people are having problems like with Zone Builder it's not even opening for them I have a fix for that and I'll show you that so yeah stay tuned for that peace out guys